Hey guys, this is Tension, bringing you another Raid Shadow Legends video. Uh, today I just want to go over Artifacts 101. Um, there's a lot of things that go into Artifacts, but the two most important things are the rank and rarity. So I want to quickly go over what each of these uh, terms means, and hopefully it helps you out. So the official Raid website, I'm sorry, YouTube channel does a wonderful job of going through this in depth and going through all the other things. But I just want to give you a little clarification, make my own little video on it, have fun with it. So, okay. So the two things on an artifact are the rank and rarity. So what does this mean? The rank is the number of stars, which can be one through five, and the rarity is the color of the border, which stands for common, uncommon, rare, epic, or legendary. Currently, um, the legendary and the six star items are not in yet. That might be the next update that comes, but we will have to see when that is. So what do these mean on a on artifacts? So the stars affect the value of the stat that's generated when you get the artifact through dungeons or whatever way possible. So let me show you the difference in a uh, two weapons between a five star and a four star are the same thing. So as you can see on the attack, which is a set stat for this weapon, 25 for a five star. For a four star, it is 16. That is a huge difference. And if you look at the max value right here, 225 versus 190. So a five star weapon has 35 more uh, basic attack on the weapon than a four star. That's pretty big value. And if you are looking at the difference between nine five star artifacts and nine four star artifacts, the difference is a lot of damage and a lot of value to your champions. The other thing that this has effect on is and I'll use crit damage as my my uh, test dummy. So the other thing that this is is when you when you're when the game rolls the stat, it even it rolls the value of the star, or the value of the star minus one. So for crit dam for crit damage, it's different for every other um, stat that you can get. But for the example I'm using, so crit damage, this one rolled a five percent. If you look at this up here, which I upgraded maxed out, uh, this should have rolled twice on crit damage. So what happened here was this started off as five percent. And then when it upgraded once, it went to 10%. And then when it upgraded once, it went up by 4 to 14%. So again, every time that it, you have a chance to upgrade this value uh, for crit damage, it's either 4 or 5%. And that decreases with the value of the the, uh, the star or, you know, the value. can't think of number, sorry, the star rating. The other thing that's important about weapons is the rarity. So how rarity affects the um, weapons here is how many substats you can see. So on a rare weapon, you can see two substats before you upgrade it. On an epic, you can see three. So why is this important? Well, this weapon right here is pretty damn good. Say I upgraded it, um, you know, I got lucky, I got two crit damage, one attack, whatever. Now this would still be broken, I still probably use this, but I go all the way to 16, I spend two million silver because RNG hates me and this game hates me. Um, and I roll the last stat, and it's beautiful eight resistance, you know. Now, I would still use this weapon in that case. It still would be phenomenal, but it would be quite annoying. And the lower you go, the more likely that is to happen. So I could do the same thing on this and roll resistance and flat defense, which doesn't help me if I'm going for, you know, a certain stat that I want for a champion. So this is why leveling up your epics is the most important thing because you have less chance of getting those bogus ones. And also you can already pre-see three of the substats and hopefully your RNG when you upgrade them to 4, 8, and 16. I'm sorry, 4, 8, and 12 is not bad. So those are the main important things. Uh, there's a lot more that goes into it. Each substat has a value range that can be affected by the rate, uh, the rarity of the item and the rank of it, the stars. So... If you want more research, uh, I would recommend the in-game icon right here. It does a wonderful job of writing it out. And also the official uh, YouTube channel does a great job. I just wanted to go over rank and rarity. As always, thanks for watching, guys.